Hi there, I'm Marty Trevette, the product manager for Switchgear and ArtVault for GE. I'm here today with the ArtVault protection system. I want to go through what, uh, what this system does. This is our latest technology in active arc flash mitigation. And so this particular device can be mounted to and protecting uh, switchgear, MCCs, um, switchboards, panel boards, anything virtually 480 volts, three phase system, this can be applied to. And what this is, is an active system that is applied to the main bus of that protected equipment that can divert and contain an arc flash event. So how that works, uh, for example, you're maybe in switch gear, you drop something conductive across the phases, or maybe even an animal comes in and crosses the phases. That would normally result in a major arc flash event, which would propagate throughout the equipment and cause major damage to the equipment and a personnel injury if someone's nearby. What we can do with the arc vault protection system is we create a lower impedance fault inside the arc, arc vault containment dome, and I'll go through that in a moment, and we actually move that arc from that event happening where the wrench is or the, or the animal was and move it into the arc vault containment dome and hold it there until an upstream circuit breaker can trip, whether that be a low voltage breaker or a medium voltage breaker upstream. That trips out the arc vault device and clears the circuit. So we're able to move the arc flash event from one area to another. So in the arc vault protection system, we have some major components. We have a relay that discerns where, whether it's an arc flash event or a bolted fault by looking at current and voltage. Uh, and we're able to tell if, uh, if it's an arc flash event and we're able to do that conversion and diversion into the arc vault device. And how the arc vault device works we have uh, a stored energy capacitor system that fires uh, what we call a plasma gun. And this plasma gun creates a high voltage arc between electrodes. The primary electrodes are wired into the arc vault device, the three phases. And between those three phases, we have the plasma gun. The plasma gun shoots an arc flash uh, or a, a spark, if you will, between those phases and creates a low impedance fault inside uh, the device. And then below we have um, a compartment that has uh, UPS uh, and, and uh, voltage uh, uh, sensors in that. Okay, now that I've shown you how the system works, I wanna go into each compartment and show you what's inside the box. First we have the auxiliary compartment, which houses the relay and 86 lockout and other devices. We have the PTs up top. We have the power supplies that can handle multiple voltages from everything from 48 volts DC, 125 volts AC, all the way up to 240 volts DC. We have the primary disconnect fuse block as well. And the, I mentioned the 86 lockout. I'll go through its functionality uh, in just a moment. And then we have the device compartment where we have the arc vault device the uh, secondary disconnects. We also, you can see the containment dome in the back where, where the magic happens and the uh, draw out rails as well. And in the bottom compartment, we have the UPS and the customer IO like wiring out to a SCADA system, uh, remote uh, operation of, of indicators and you can wire out the um, activation switch remotely as well. Well, that's, that's it today for, uh, for our vault protection system. I appreciate your time. And if you want more information, please visit our website at geindustrial.com forward slash arcvault.